In fact, in fact, I, Ezekiel chapter 37 is a messianic chapter. All Christians agree that the Valley of Dry Bones is a messianic chapter. And in verse 24 and 25, the prince there is talking about the Messiah. I didn't have to ask him. All Christians hold that. And it says there explicitly that it's like having the DVD. Like people want to know what's going to happen, what's the score going to be at the end of the game. Imagine if you had the film beforehand. Imagine if you had the New York Times from four days. Now you know exactly what will happen to the stocks. It tells us I'll be my prince, David will be will be will be king over them and they will keep all my laws and in fact you said the sacrifices end but if you look in the Bible in the book of Ezekiel chapter 43 describing the third and the final temple it describes in Ezekiel 43 verse 22 in 45 verse 22 that the sacrificial system will be restored so the question is, who do I follow? Do I follow a man-made religion that invents what's convenient? Or do I follow okay, what the, the Bible prince says? 17 times, he's, he's not the janitor. So it describes it that he himself in 45 verse 22, he's going to bring sacrifices. In fact, he's going to bring a sin sacrifice on behalf of himself and the people. Why would God have to bring a sin sacrifice on behalf of himself? And in, in, in 46, Ezekiel 46 verse 4 and 5, it describes that the Messiah is going to bring a lamb offering for Pesach. And in 46, verse 16 and 17, it describes the Messiah has a family and children. If it's Jesus, he didn't have any children. In the time today, Pastor Paul, for you and all Christians to repent and to come back to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I say that with all my love for you. I want you home, to come home to the God of Israel. Thank you.